This is our BMW. Uh, we have installed the Bosch Rexroad controller in the back of the car. It is installed in this plastic box. This is the Bosch Rexroad controller. Uh, with this controller uh, we can control the throttle input to the BMW and we can read several sensors by CAN. Over here we see the emergency box, the laptop with the hand tune layout and the mobile eye camera is installed behind the mirror over here. Over here there is a box to enable the system and to disable the system with the emergency button. Huntune basically is the real-time interface uh, with the Bosch Rexroad controller in the back of the car. Uh, it displays some uh, relevant signals concerning the cruise control and the adaptive cruise control and some additional sensor data. For example, uh, the distance uh, with respect to the predecessor uh, measured by the mobile eye camera. Uh, we can enable a signal uh, from hand to, to the emergency button called the watchdog signal. As you see now a red LED lights up at the emergency box. I can now use the trigger switch to enable the system. The top red LED switches off and a green LED switches on. Now we can take over the throttle input to the car by Huntune. The slider bar controls the throttle input. Now I can switch the system off by uh, pressing the brake pedal, the throttle pedal or pressing the emergency button. I now press the brake pedal and as you see the output of the emergency box is low and we no longer have control over the throttle input with Huntune and the driver is again in full control of the throttle input. Enable the cruise control. We are passing a traffic light. As you can see, a car is approaching in the distance. Still, we are driving in cruise control mode. We just reverted to adaptive cruise control mode. The car in front is detected at a distance of almost 80 meters. Now we are slowly reducing the throttle input and we will start following the truck in front. We are slightly overshooting our target distance and now again we are increasing our speed to maintain an almost constant gap of 1.4 seconds. The truck again is moving off the highway and we are increasing speed since we now return to cruise control mode. Cruise control is enabled and we drive at a speed of 26 meters per second. The car in front is now detected and we will switch to adaptive cruise control. We reduce the throttle input and the speed reduces and now we will start following the car in front. I will now start to overtake the car in front. We will move back to cruise control mode 
we will accelerate and overtake the car in cruise control mode.